Casablanca. Casablanca. It's like the city market. Right in the heart of town. And so, as we walk along, we end up in another island, Medina. This time in Casablanca. The troops are all in good form. They've been faked, except for the German who couldn't get his couscous, and he has a couscous on him. But other than him, everyone is happy, like pigs in sh. Making bread. This on me, beautiful. It's another Medina in another city. Kind of starts to feel a bit samey, but you know what? It's still very cool the whole thing. These places. Here we are, the explorers, and we're all standing outside of Rick's Cafe, Casablanca. But there's a cute kitty. Hey, all the fancy places just outside the Medina we find these streets with small workshops fellas woodworking and it looks very poor 
and then we step back through the walls of the Medina and everything goes slightly more upmarket. Slightly. We are finally exiting Casablanca. And we have decided that Casablanca is the Naples of Morocco. In other words, it's fucking dirty. We have the Dr. Stahl is driving this morning again. He's the designated driver. I'm still wearing the glasses and the caps and all that shit because the eyes are still very sensitive. Over my right shoulder, there is young Miss Natalie. Natalie Stabobololol. What is it again? Bardolo. See, si. of Italian heritage. In the other corner, we have the sweet Geraldine of the Campion clan, originally of a Foley. And then we have himself in the middle trying to keep the peace between the two women. Young Stuart of the McStuart clan from the islands of Scotland. Right now, this doesn't look like much, but we are actually according to maps at the Yacht Club in Mohamedia. We're on the way back to Rabat from Casablanca and we've decided to stop here and see what's going on. Let's check it out. What was it? I don't know. Maybe it's a, it's a beach club marina, you know. Could be included, yeah. Yeah, that sounds more... Nice gym. They teach Taijutsu. Taijutsu. Yeah. It's not going to stop us. The intrepid explorers on the road from Mohimedia to Rabat. And as we approached Rabat, we saw these very strange looking donkeys. We are in a Berber camp. Oh my God, you should smell the camels. They're selling the pots and tagines and all that, but I think maybe these are the authentic peoples, except for their Nike shoes. <laughs> Otherwise I was, uh, I was sold. There's Borges' house across the road. Very cool. Today is Monday the 5th of December 2022. We're returning the car that we hired for the last few days. We're in Rabat still. And uh, Along the coastal road yesterday on the way back, we spotted this bad boy. And I just thought if we were returning the car, I might as well swing up this morning and have a look, see what is it. So it is a port, but it's a much more modern looking setup. Big walls. Some ornate towers on it, all right, but I think that's just for effect. It's got some uh, proper guns down here, so I'll show you these. National Museum of Photography. Boy. Look at him, he's playing with his ring. Say hello, Stuart. Have you anything? to get kicked in the head, boy. <laughs> anything to add? <laughs> Come on. 
Let's do it. I want to see what the German monkey looks like. I can do it. There's a kid there behind you and he's doing fucking like 40 of the damn things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Smokey and fucking bandit next to me here. <laughs> Cause he's afraid he might get something on the train. The train is stuffins. Does he stuffins? The gentlemen's are down there. It's the gentleman in the between. Oh, the joys of it all. We're having some some fun. The intrepid explorers have found a bar to watch the match. Morocco versus Spain. Knockout stage of the World Cup. The TV cameras are all around. They're expecting some famous people. Maybe, maybe not. And we've got seats, which cost us how much? Five euros each. Five euros. But with that, you get a free drink. Non alcoholic, of course. And all these people are here. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> and so the excitement builds into a penalty shootout. Goes mad. I think I need help. I'm going through hell. A face like I'm fine, but I know you can't tell. Like nothing I found. My mind overwhelms. I think that I'm broken, but I hope you can't help. I know I'm not perfect, but some days I can be ready to go. 9 30, they said. Go to the fuel dock, but there's nobody on the fuel dock to give us fuel. Nine o'clock, they said, go to the office and check out. But there's nobody at the office. Will I was to check out? We have made the short voyage from our marina berth to the fuel dock. We've celebrated. We've had a drink to celebrate our safe arrival. However, we're a couple of hours ahead of high tide, about four. So I reckon they're just going to make us wait. We have the whole police thing to do anyway. So it could take a while. All good, Mr. C. Oh, well, I just think of rabbit. It's good. Beautiful place, but senior. Eleven days. Eleven days in Rabat. Why? Because there's a sandbar across the mouth of the river as you're coming from the sea. And the sea walls open straight to the sea and then the sea has this habit of the swell running directly into the mouth of the river. So the swell fucks you up. Anything more than 1.7 meters, which is about average down here, and you can't get out. So luckily we got in that day, we were delighted with ourselves, but now we've been here since because we can't get out. <laughs> but today is the day. Yesterday. However, we did see Morocco win last night. We did see Morocco win last night over Spain, who were absolutely brutal. And they never even played. They were brutal. They got to the penalty shootout and they missed. Well, they didn't miss. The uh, Moroccan goalkeeper saved three penalties in a row. And that was it. That's all she wrote. Well done, Morocco. All over. Next, they face Portugal. Portugal. Saturday's going to be great.
Anyway, we're ready to rock, so let's see what happens next. We're heading for Mohamedia, which is a tiny port down the coast. Uh, it's a major oil port, actually, but only a tiny yacht club there. They take three or four boats, so we're not expecting a berth. But there's a little anchorage there in the bay, so we're going to try that. And uh, hopefully that'll work out for us. It's uh, forecast today is good and then raining for about three days. So we might sit there for the three days. Sea isn't great anyway. And then it all turns around uh, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we might finally get a run to the Canaries. Finally. If not, we'll go down to Agadir. If it's a direct sail. So that's the plan. That's all we can have as a plan, isn't it? When plans yeah. change. They certainly do. <laughs> they certainly do.